Hello everyone and welcome to Jehu Crochet and More. In today's video I'm going to unbox and review the yarn that I got from Wool and the Gang. I will tell you all about the company in a little bit and of course I will open and show you and review the yarns themselves. But before I just wanted to say I did not mean to make this video as an unboxing video. This was meant to just be a review of some new yarns that I wanted to show. But as I opened this box, I had to show you the way the yarn comes when you order from Wool and the Gang. Look at that. Isn't this the best packaging of yarn that you have come across. I mean, I ordered from a lot of different yarn companies. To this day, I have not yet come across a yarn company that packs its product so neatly. Before I even opened this box and this bag that was inside the box, before I even touched the yarn, I already give five stars for packaging because I have not come across something so cool before. So now I can move on to tell you a little bit more about the company. If you are not familiar with Wool and the Gang, I will put links to their website and to their Facebook group in the description box below this video. They are a very customer-centered company. If you go on their website, you will find not just great yarn, but also a lot of patterns which are very user-friendly. doesn't matter what kind of level you are. If you're a beginner, if you already knit or crochet or loom knit or macrame for years, you will find um, patterns on this website that fit you. Also, all the pictures of the patterns that you will see, you will look at them and you will say, I can make this. This is very customer centered, very customer friendly. And they do say everywhere you look for this company, you will see that they say, we put the gang, you, the customers, in the center of our creations. So that's something that I really like and one of the main things that drew, drew me to order from them. As I've mentioned a few weeks ago when I announced my Yarn for Earth competition, all the yarns that I'm going to review in the duration of the competition are somehow environmental friendly or environmental conscious yarns. And so Wool and the Gang have a very large selection of yarns and out of the yarns that they offer on their website, there is a large amount of yarn that is made out of recycled materials, out of organic materials. And I really liked that about them. It's not that all of their yarns are like that, but they do have a very large selection of environmental friendly yarns, upcycled, recycled, organic, and so it fits my agenda at the moment perfectly. And all the yarn that I ordered from them in this order answers to that uh, cause. So let's get this open and see what's inside. Okay, let me give you a short look. Isn't this great how it's packed? Before I dig into the bag, I just want to say I am not affiliated with Wool and the Gang in any way. All the links that you will find in the description box below this video are not affiliated links. And at the end of the video, I will say a little bit about how you can get 15% off your first order. And that is not affiliated either. So I don't get anything whether you decide to order from them or not, other than the fact that I will be happy that I introduce you to a new yarn company. The first kind of yarn that I ordered is this one that's called the Little Heal the Wool. If you are viewers of my channel, then you know I have something for names that yarn companies give their yarns. And this is called Heal the Wool. That's already environmental conscience. Um, look at the 
wordplay on heal the world. There's a sign here that says it's 100% recycled wool. And let me tell you a little bit about this yarn. It, it is 100 gram, about 87 yards or 80 meters per ball. 100% recycled wool. It recommends a needle size US 10 and a half, or that's six and a half millimeters. It's a chunky yarn. I would say it's a bulky five. And the color is ballet pink. And I have another one that's exactly the same yarn. And this one is wine red. I thought these two look good together. It's soft textured and it is very nice to the touch. And look at the way the yarn is spun. I really like that. I mean, the way it feels, this will make a great project. You can use it to make beanies, scarves, cardigans. I think if you get a larger amount of this, this can make a really cool, oversized, cuddly cardigan. This would work great with any easy stitch pattern maybe a herringbone stitch or just a regular single crochet, half double crochet, back post, front post patterns. This, the chunkiness of this yarn will bring it out. And it's super, super soft. I really like the touch of this. It is 100% recycled wool, but it doesn't have this regular scruffiness that wool has it's very soft to the touch and i wouldn't mind making a scarf out of it and then i wouldn't be afraid that that it might get itchy even though it is wool it doesn't have that regular wool feel to it it's way softer maybe that's because it's recycled wool maybe it goes through some kind of process it makes it really really soft and i think these will look great together as a beanie it does have a little bit of that wooly um fuzz but it is not itchy it's so so soft because of the way the yarn is because it's so um chunky it's gonna work up very quickly and show off any kind of stitch that you choose for it. I cannot wait to make something out of this because it's just, I think it will work out so fast that it will be done in a, an hour or two and look amazing. I am totally going to make something that combines these two colors and I will obviously show you how it came up. Beautiful yarn very very soft when you go on the website you will see suggestions with every yarn that you view for patterns that can work well with that yarn so when you go on the website and look for this specific yarn you will find beautiful patterns of beanies and cowls that are made with this yarn and they all look so easy and quick to make. This will make a great project. The next yarn that I got is a completely different kind of yarn. This is called Jersey Be Good and kudos to whoever comes up with the names of yarns in this company. This is t-shirt yarn and I got two colors of that as well. 500 grams per ball of yarn or cake, cone, I don't know what you want to call it, but there's 500 grams in there. And look at that. This yarn is made in Turkey from fabric roll offcuts. It is all recycled fabric that is left over from the industry and they make it into t-shirt yarn. It does say here on the label, Originally from t-shirt scraps, this yarn is now ready for its next adventure. Make something unique to you. 
I love that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at that little logo here. You can make something really nice for your house uh, with this yarn. It will make great baskets. It will make beautiful cushion covers, market bags. T-shirt yarn is very good for decorational items but it also makes great bags handbags market bags i saw people making um plant hangers out of t-shirt yarns there is just so many possibilities now if you've worked with t-shirt yarn before then you know it's important to look at how it's constructed this does not have a seam in it this is a t-shirt yarn without a seam and I'm gonna pull a little bit of it out just to see if it's relatively even across. It's also very important if you work with t-shirt yarn. It seems to be relatively even. I don't see parts which are thicker and thinner. It looks pretty much the same thickness throughout. I got two colors. This one is called True Blood Red and that one is called Pastel Peach and I know that my light makes it uh, reflect a little bit. I'm gonna try to hold it in a way where you can actually see, yeah, here. See, this is a Pastel Peach. I think 500 grams for a t-shirt yarn is a very generous amount. I know that when I go here to a store and I look for t-shirt yarn, most of them come in 250 gram cones. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but here in Germany, the general norm is 250 grams per cone of textile yarn. Not just t-shirt yarn, but in general, textile yarn is... Um, is about 250 grams and I think 500 grams is a very generous amount. You can also see the size of those cones. Now I know this one looks a little lighter but it's not. They are the same weight. It's just the way it's um, rolled. Once again if you go on the website and look at the Jersey Be Good page then you will get a lot of pattern suggestions for this specific yarn. I personally see a nice rug out of these two colors. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with them, but when I see those two colors together, my first thought is a rug. This is also very elastic. It has a stretch to it. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas as to what I can make with those great yarns that I got from Wool and the Gang. This is my first order from them and I am very happy. I have already placed my second order with them a few hours ago before I even opened these because they have a great sale going on right now. So if you're watching this video close to the date that it has been released, then go on the website and check it out. They have a great end of the season sale. At the moment, all of their yarns are reduced prices and this is a great opportunity to go and get them. And in case you're watching this video at a different time and there is no sale at the moment, then I will leave in the description box below this video my name. And when you go on the website and fill up your cart and go to the checkout, there is a box on the checkout process that asks, have you been referred by a friend? And if you fill out my name into that box, then you will get 15% off your first order from Wool and the Gang. If you're already a customer, I'm not sure it works. I do know that it works for our new customers. And all you have to do is copy the name, the way it's written in the description box below this video and paste it into that box on the checkout process in the website and you will get 15% off. Now that works for items that are not on sale. It is not affiliated. I don't get anything if you use my name, but you get 15% off your first order. Now I think that's a great deal. Very, very good yarn. Very nice to the touch, both of them, high quality 
and the company makes a great impression from the minute you open the box the way it is wrapped the way it comes it doesn't have any strange odors and I just love how environmental friendly these are they also have a lot of yarns that are not recycled or upcycled materials they have the regular range wool they have t-shirt yarn they have cotton they have glitter they have alpaca they have mohair they have a lot of really good yarns i ordered these because i am currently reviewing environmental friendly yarns on my channel but they have a lot more and i highly recommend that you go and check them out they do ship worldwide in very reasonable prices and i give them five stars and if you have ordered from them before and have an experience with them then let me know in the comments what you think about them and if you enjoyed this video and if this video helped you in any way then please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed because i have a lot more coming thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!